After strapping camcorders on my helmet for many years, I bought a GoPro in 2010. And since then, there's been the 8, the 9, the 10, and today, the GoPro 11 dropped, along with the 11 mini. Now, my latest GoPro is the GoPro 9. So, you can probably guess what's in this box. And here it is. Is it the 10? No, it's the 8. And I'll tell you why I got the 8. It's because it's smaller. The 9 was really fat. The 10 still fat and heavy. And I thought the 8 was just smaller and better fitting in my pocket, better on a helmet. And the other weird thing is, first thing, sometimes first thing in the morning, the 9 takes 5 seconds longer to do a quick turn on. And if there's a plane flying past and I want a clip or something, the 9 just misses that. Uh, I can show you here. 5 seconds longer for the 9 to turn on. On a kind of cold start. After you've done that on and off once. If you do it a few seconds later. The 9 works normally. Just some weird bug. But it's the size that annoys me most. But what's interesting about the GoPro 11. Is the 11 mini. Is the small version, so that should be better for me, right? But when I looked at the stats, the Hero 11 Mini 133 grams and the GoPro 826 grams. And a GoPro should be a small little thing you put on your helmet, and right now it's kind of back to kind of camcorder size things on helmets with two screens and it's crazy. And this, the GoPro Hero 11 has this big file sizes and you can crop it down for TikTok. And I don't need that, you know, this is just a random raw footage from the Hero 8 I filmed earlier this week and the stability is just really good. I like the quality. It's a very small camera, it's good for aerodynamics on a bike, for example, lightweight. And I think it's good enough and even though I have a 9, even if I had an 11, I think I'll still be taking the 8 out with me for those reasons.